So over a number of videos, we've, we've shown that the, with a variable pitch propeller, that the propeller can be in a number of different uh, uh, angles. However, there are some particular angles in which we don't want the propeller to go beyond. Um, we achieve that uh, using uh, propeller stops. So the stops may be, for example, a uh, full reverse stop, a ground find pitch stop, a flight find pitch stop, a cruise pitch uh, stop, and a feather stop. And um, in this video, I will show um, how the feather and the full reverse stop works. And we'll look at the ground fine and maybe flight fine in, in, in other videos. The cruise and the flight fine will be very similar, so if you understand what happened in here, you'll understand what happens in the cruise. So um, let's look at the, the feather and the full reverse stops. So we're going to zoom in here on our um, on our uh, propeller and the propeller piston uh, inside the propeller hub. So I just want to get rid of this counterweight here. Okay. So here is uh, here is the piston, and it can move along this rail here. So when we go to feather, the piston keeps moving until it hits this stop. So this is an actual mechanical stop. It's machined. Uh, you know, it can't go any further. It's, uh, this is the most coarse angle that the propeller can achieve. So that would be the feathering stop. And then the opposite would be the reverse stop. So the propeller moves forward and it keeps going until it hits this stop. So this is the full uh, reverse stop. So I just look at those again. So the propeller can move from there to there. That is the full range of movement of the propeller. So uh, they are machine stops. So anything in between, like um, a flight fine pitch stop somewhere here, or a, a ground fine pitch stop somewhere here, or a cruise stop, which would be somewhere here, we need some other mechanism uh, to stop the propeller. And we look at those in, in different uh, videos.